So welcome back everyone, Triple M here, and today I wanted to show you how to add stories to your on 4K streaming device. Now this is the brand new on 4K streaming device with Google TV, and uh, one of the downfalls of this budget device is that it has very little storage available. So today I'm gonna show you what you need to get it up and running, how to get it set up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell, let's go. So for anyone looking for one of these devices, two basic ways to get it, either on the Walmart website, which they went live a couple days ago. I was actually able to order mine, got delivered to my house, or you can go inside the store and see if they have any available. So this device, brand new setup, haven't really installed any applications, haven't done anything to it. So let's go ahead and see what storage we have on here. So to do that, I'm gonna go to my settings. All right, I'm gonna go down to system. Go down to storage. All right, so you can see internal storage 5.1 gigs. Actual available storage is 3.7 gigs. So if you're someone who downloads a lot of applications, maybe a game or two, by the time you actually get to three or four apps, your storage is gonna be full. So what are you gonna need to get this up and running? All right, so first thing you're gonna need is an OTG adapter. Now the OTG adapter basically allows you to add a USB port so you can see my hands I have two different versions I have one which is more like a dongle and I have another one which is more compact both of them have the same amount of ports has a micro USB to plug into the on streaming device then it has a pass through for the power so you plug in the original adapter in there and then on the side you have your free USB port now with this you can then plug in either a USB drive like I'm going to demo here or if you have a hard drive you can go ahead and plug it in there and once you do that get this connected to the device you can bind it to your device where you can install that applications you can add media photos whatever you need to it just makes this device a lot more usable now as far as your USB drive or your hard drive depending on which one you use and you might have to go in and format it on your computer so when you plug it into your computer go to your computer go to my PC go to your drives on your computer then right click on that drive when you right click you're gonna see an option to format go ahead and click that as far as the format and options for smaller USB drives uh, like I'm using, you're going to choose the FAT32 option. For your larger drives, like your hard drive, SSDs, you want to go ahead and use NTFS. Let me know what drives you guys are using. Let me know if, what option is working for you. Then you're going to go ahead, give your drive a name, click format, and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get it set up. So what we're gonna do is, first we're gonna need to go in our system and enable developer options, plus turn on a couple more settings. So I'm gonna click on our settings. Go down to system, about. All right, so we're gonna scroll down a little bit. Hover over where it says Android TV build, and we're gonna tap the OK button seven times. This will enable developer options. So we're gonna go ahead and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can see now we're a developer. So once we do that, we're gonna go back one. And if we scroll to the bottom, we should now see the developer options. So we'll click on that. And we're gonna to need to turn on a couple settings within here just to make sure everything is up and running. So first thing we're gonna turn on is USB debugging. So scroll down, click on this. I'm gonna tell you that it's intended for um, development purposes, but this is necessary just to get some of those settings up and running. I'm going to scroll down some more. Scroll all the way down to the bottom um, on the standby apps. You can see there's one option that says force allow apps to external. So makes any app eligible to be written on external storage regardless of manifest values. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. All right, so now that we have everything plugged in, we're going to go back to our storage. So we're going to go down to our settings. Then we're going to go to system, go down to storage again. All right, so now you can see your internal storage and you can see I do have that USB in there um, that's labeled test. So with the test option, if you had media on there, let's say you had a movie or something on here, you can just use a file explorer to get to that drive and um, see what's in there. I do recommend explore, file explorer if you're looking to do that, and I'll show you how to navigate that later. So the other option is to erase and format as device storage. So what this is gonna do, and be very careful before selecting this option, this will essentially wipe 
the drive and make it a part of your device storage which means that once you do this you can't just unplug it and put it in any other device it won't be recognized so only use this option if you don't plan on pulling the drive in and out to add or remove storage so let me pop this out and just put some files on here all right so the app that i like using is called explore like i said there's a basically just a file explorer and um like i said if you're not making the USB drive or hard drive and part of the internal storage. Uh, this can be used to essentially navigate inside the drive, get to the content, get to your media, whatever the case is. So let's go ahead and open it. And we're just gonna go ahead and allow. So you can see I have tests and I have internal. So if I click on test, all right, you can see the couple things that I have um roku mp4 that's a video i did not too long ago and you can essentially play it directly from the drive you can see that works with no issues i can skip all right looks really good and um no issues reading that at all all right so hopefully that helped um like i said with expanding your storage you do have a lot of options you can use the usb you can use a hard drive and once you get that installed you can go into your developer options choose whatever setting is going to best fit you and then you can go into your storage and set it up that way so if you have any questions drop it in the comments if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one